Good morning. Today we're looking at example 5 of section 3.4 optimization of business calculus with Excel. The problem starts with a series of points for quantity and profit, asks us to find a formula for the profit function, and then find the break-even points and the value that maximizes profit. We start with our series of points of quantity and profit. We plot those Plotting those, we set up to add a trend line. Looking at the graph, it looks like it's a quadratic equation, so we're going to graph it as a polynomial of degree 2. That looks like a good fit. The round curve and the polynomial curve underneath it are the same. We will display the equation on the chart. That gives us our basic function. We're going to go to the home and make that larger so it's easier to read. This gives us a function for the profit function. If we look at our formulas, we see that we've already known that formula and have put the formula that we've just found into the, the place for the profit of Q, profit of Q plus 1, profit of, profit of Q plus 0 0.001, profit of Q minus 0 0.001, and the derivative of the profit. And show the formulas. Now that we have a function, we can just plot from 0, I'm going to say, to about 500. So notice I have the function graphed, I mean the, the table of the function from 0 to 500 by 25s. As I look at the function, somewhere between 0 and 25, it looks like we have a root because profit is changing from negative to positive. Also, somewhere between 450 and 475, we're going to have a break-even point. And somewhere between 225 and 250, we're going to have a break-even point. So we know we have two endpoints, two break-even points near 0 and 450, and we're going to have our maximum profit near 250. That was where the uh, near zero, we're going to have our maximum profit near 250. That was where the derivative of profit wound up being zero. I'm going to find exactly by using goal seek. So I want to look at my data tab what if analysis, goal seek, I'd like D18 profit to be zero by changing A18. Similarly, I'd like profit to be zero to find the other break-even point. I'm going to do what if analysis again. I'd like D19 to be zero by changing A19. Finally, I want to find where the profit is a maximum. That's going to be where the derivative is zero. So I'm going to use goal seek a third time. I want G20 to be zero by changing A20. And so looking at this, I have break-even points at 14.52 and 461 and I'm going to have the maximum profit at Q equals 237.84. My profit then is 5,032. Thank you. My maximum profit is 532. If I'm selling widgets, I'm going to go to the nearest value and get 532 and a few less cents for selling 238 widgets.